Stefan, please tell me why you think the Springbok will win the British and Irish Lions Tour this summer. I think they'll win 3 0 because um, it's obviously home home advantage for us. Rugby is like a religion back home, so it means an awful lot. Uh, the Springboks only get a chance to play against the Lions every 12 years, so it's massive for the players that get chosen for that squad. But also, I think the team would be similar to the one that played in the World Cup final. I know they haven't played for two years, but Lions haven't played for four years as well. So I think um, yeah, it will be a good challenge for them to, to get back together and get uh, hit the ground running. But I think home advantage makes a massive difference and obviously the physicality of the Springboks. Um, I think the Lions are going to struggle to contain them. Cheers. Why do you think the Lions even have a chance <laughs> against South Africa? Thank you. Uh, it's a good question, Stefan. Um, I think, obviously, bringing the best players from four different separate nations is massive for the British and Irish Lions. Um, get the cream of the crop in, in, in European rugby, to be honest, with the, with the best nations going out there. Um, in, in Europe, I think um, the, how special it is, I know that you said rugby's like a religion and, and obviously Lions tours only come around tw every 12 years for, for the, those three nations, but it's incredibly special for if you're British it's the sort of pinnacle of everything that e any young British rugby player is working towards so you add that in with the incredible talent and the the great coaching squad again that's pulled from the four the four nations I think the British and Irish Lions will do a serious job in South Africa um, but there's only one way to find out isn't there? Chez, who do you think is the standout players in the Lions team that the box should be worried about? Uh, thank you. Uh, I think, um, to be honest, I think the Scottish pair of Finn Russell and Hamish Watson. The Scottish pair of James Lang and Scott Steele. Um, <laughs> so I think, um, I think the Scottish pair of Finn Russell and Hamish Watson, who two guys who would probably be outside chances to start, especially in the first test, um, both fantastically talented, having played against... Um, Finn Russell for Racing, you just see up close how great he is, how good he is taking it to the line, bossing a, a French team around and a Scottish team. So I'm really hopeful that he'll get, get to play a part in it. And Hamish Watson, I've liked him for a long, long time. Um, played against him a few years ago. <clears throat> Unbelievably talented. I know in the press, you know, he's been touted at being a little bit light and a little bit lightweight, but I really don't see that. I think he's incredibly physical and I think he'll go really, really well in a tour like that. So I'd, 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 I'd really like to see those two play a part in it. Steph, back to you. Who do you think, um, obviously incredibly talented Springbok side that won the World Cup uh, two years ago, who do you think will, will, will make, will overlap in this series and, and who are we looking out for? Yeah, I think the outside backs, normally in South Africa you look at the forwards, but I think Cheslin and Mopimpi has been hugely impressive and entertaining to watch them. And I think that will be a massive threat again for the Lions in those outside challenges, especially if they get ball on the front foot. Um, it'll be interesting with Peter Steff being out for so long, but I think he came back from being out of the game for a year and he played 80 unbelievable minutes for the Stormers. So looking forward to seeing him back in the Springbok jersey.